Hey folks, this is Steve Vai and you're watching Wissam Zivrakin. Starting with this interview, how was yesterday in Wrocław? You know, what, what experience is <laughs> by participating in a world <clears throat> guitar record event? What a, what a wild day, I have to say. I had done that before, I think yep. it was 2014. Exactly. And it's kind of like a, a great opportunity for people just to get together with their guitars mm -hmm. and just have fun, and, you know, and, and yesterday was massive. I mean, it was just massive. You know, it's, it's interesting because I was thinking about that and I was seeing it from the perspective of being a kid in the audience mm -hmm. with an acoustic guitar. We had close to 8,000 exactly. people playing Hey Joe. Yep. And I could just see like, uh, some of them weeks before hearing about it and wanting to be a part of it and never really of having played the guitar and researching, I gotta get a guitar and I gotta take a lesson, somebody has to show me how to play Hey Joe, you know, and uh, that's so exciting for some people. And have you observed any changes to this festival over the years? Because, you know, you've participated in this festival once. Well, besides there being more people, and on this particular, on, day yesterday, um, I played a few songs. Mm -hmm. We did Purple Rain. Yeah, know. I saw it. Yeah, it was fun. It was good to play that. Um, and then I did a gig that night. So last time I came, I think I just did the, uh -huh. just, the, the event. Just the event, right. Yeah. Okay, and uh, maybe a tricky question now. How familiar are you with the guitar, or the Polish guitar scene and its representative? Um, I, I'm not very familiar at all, mm -hmm. except for uh, Marcin, I think his name is, Marcin, this uh, young Polish acoustic guitar player. Yeah, Marcin <clears throat> Patrzałek. How do you say it? Marcin Patrzałek. He is an absolute yeah. freakazoid. Mm -hmm. I've never seen anything mm -hmm. like it. It is so... Exactly. Uh, it's just so freeing mm -hmm. to see somebody like that play with such joy, such amazing next level control and creativity you got a winner there man <laughs> he's, a, he's something else so i would say that such events as, as yesterday that is still good that we we actually still have such events here in poland because you know guitar music nowadays is not very popular you know among the, the most popular trends in music at all nowadays i would say uh, but still we can see some kind of um, constant evolution of guitar, I would say, new, gener new generations of players, you know, coming to play, building their careers. So maybe no need to be humble now. Would you agree that you may be the reason, or one of the reasons, why we have such incredible players like Marcin, for example, like Matthias Asato, Plini, Tim Henson, for example? Hmm. I'm not the reason, <laughs> you know, I, I'm, An inspiration, uh, maybe. I'm, a, I'm a part of the pulse, yeah. because, uh, you know, um, Similarly, uh, people like Jimmy Page, Brian May, Jeff Beck, Jimi mm -hmm. Hendrix, they, they were uh, my food, so mm -hmm. to speak. So, uh, we pass it on. We're always passing it on. I've already seen uh, probably three generations of guitar players since my generation mm -hmm. uh, of uh, the 80s. And people... Uh, you know, the human spirit is always achieving. It wants to achieve. It wants to expand. It wants new. It wants fresh. And that's not going to change. Uh, you know, um, and it it's not going to change in the guitar world. I don't believe. I haven't seen it ever change. I mean, history is the evidence. And uh, it is it is quite uh, nice when I see some of these, you know, Gen Z players that are several generations after me, you know, saying in an interview that uh, they were influenced a bit mm -hmm. by me or, you know, I could see some of the couple of riffs here and there. But even a lot of that stuff passed from me to somebody else to them, you know. Uh, but there is a powerful evolution going on right now and it's amazing to watch. I'm working on a, uh, <clears throat> my uh, Vi Academy camp for this January 2024, 20, uh, and uh, it's tentatively titled uh, 
Vi Academy, uh, seven, I think it's 7.0 Gen Z, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to recruit all of those players, you know, guys like Tim and Scotty and Mar Marcin mm -hmm. and uh, Daniel Guitardo and Matea, he's, you know, he's coming on board and I'm trying to get this kid Max Ostro from oh, yeah. Russia, he's a freak man. Yeah, Max is a total freak. He's a total freak. <laughs> you gotta like, you have to study and go like, where's that coming from, you know? There's something, uh -huh. uh, there's new brain muscles, you know, being born. And uh, it's always been that way, and it's magnificent to see. Have you ever been in a situation when uh, a guitar player that, for example, we all may know, you know, just admitted to you in a face-to-face -face conversation that you were the greatest, the greatest inspiration? Yeah. No names. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> right. It's, you know, I, I, the, <clears throat> people in my position, uh -huh. you know, can receive those kinds of compliments. And for a big part of my career, uh, when I would hear something like that, I I didn't believe it. I thought they were just being nice, and maybe some of them were, but because uh, <clears throat> I never thought that. Anybody could be as influenced by me as I was by my heroes. It's just a weird kind of a, a, a kind of a feeling, you know. You think, really, really? Because to me, what I do, I'm all, I'm always feeling like I have to do more. I have mm -hmm. to. I want more. I want better. I want to be, you know, and and never really kind of feeling like you've arrived. You know, which is kind of nice because you're always exploring. Yeah. But then later on, I started to feel the sincerity <clears throat> in those kinds of statements, and it's quite an honor. It's it's inspiring because if you feel like what you're doing is inspiring others, um, that's inspiring. And I always feel that no matter what you do, whether it's a musician, a sports athlete, world-class chef, businessman, mm -hmm. person that makes pottery, I don't know what it is, you know, anything, even uh, in your life, whatever you do, there's always people that will help pull you up. And you're always helping to pull up somebody, others. Exactly. And that doesn't just go for the, uh, the work you do, but uh, psychologically, mm -hmm. when, when you find when you reach out for help, um, there's people that can help you, and by you finding that help, you're, you're helping others. So it's I don't see myself as mm -hmm. uh, like on top of anything. More like somewhere I'm, in between. Yeah, yeah. I'm 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 like everybody. I mean, I'm on the absolute top of being Steve I, whatever that means. <laughs> yeah, it's over 40 years on stage for a reason, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you know, 43. 43 already. So, you know, throughout your career, you've always set the bars higher and higher, you know, like going beyond, even beyond your expectations by you know, mm -hmm. inventing new approaches to composing, new guitar techniques, new crazy guitar designs, let's say. Yeah. Um, are there currently any limitations for Steve Vai when it comes to guitar performance? I face my limitations every day, you know. Okay. Um, but Within the freedoms that I have, mm -hmm. I have a really good time. I <laughs> really, you know, I, I love it. Well, you know, things change, mm -hmm. you know, um, and you have to adjust. But more so now than ever, when I'm on stage, I, I, I don't know if it's my age or whatever, but I've just shed so much psychological interruptions, you know. Uh, and, uh, kind of hard to explain what that means, but suffice to say, uh, I feel more connected now than ever to my instrument and the audience and the environment I'm in when I'm playing. I feel a little word of, uh, uh, of suggestion to young players. You're only going to be really happy when you're entirely yourself. Mm -hmm. it, and I, it took me a long time to learn that because um, at times I was embarrassed being me. 
you know, uh, certain things that I would do, the way I move, the way I act, some of the things I say, the, the, the mu some of the music flexible, you know, and some of the other kind of corny, weird, quirky things that I do. It's not hip, you know, so, but it, it's just me, you know, so there was a conflict at times. There's no conflict anymore. It's important, I guess, to realize that but yeah, basically so, there, there's no shame in that, right? Yeah, so the message is you're never really going to be uh, comfortable in your skin unless you totally accept your authentic mm -hmm. personality and the things you like without any excuses. Nothing else works. So if we talk about the authenticity, uh, let's maybe focus on the two great albums of yours. Uh, so, Inviolate. Uh, I'm always excited when I'm you know, saying these words. Uh, so I've read in one of the interviews that you described it uh, as a good vibe instrumental record, let's say, but can this be treated only as a tip of the iceberg, because you know, what lies underneath is truly innovative when it comes to the use of guitar techniques, the arrangements, the composing process. Mm -hmm. Who knows? You know, I, I have um, ideas and desires uh, I don't feel like I've exhausted all my technique uh, ideas, mm -hmm. okay. um, and I have a project in mind that uh, I'd like to do probably next year <clears throat> that will do that, <laughs> you know, to a great, not exhaust, but mm -hmm. really uh, 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 show some evolution. Um, but, uh, you know, we have to see how these things go. Yeah, and I just you know I just can't continue without asking you about the hydro guitar because mm -hmm. uh, uh, does this instrument opens does it open a new range of possibilities for what you can do in the future by having this instrument? Well, what's interesting is sometimes I I like most people when they're being creative, mm -hmm. you know I I get a vision for something. It's not, you know, you, it happens to you, it happens to everybody, you get a vision for something. And then I seem to be able to scratch the surface. Mm -hmm. And then I move on to scratch another surface. You know, so something like in Violet, if you take something like Teeth of the Hydra, the whole, I mean, somebody that had young, uh, a lot of time on their hands and young hands <laughs> could take the Hydra and go to the moon with it. I mean, the, 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 the potential is staggering. I mean, if you've got a, somebody like uh, Marcin mm -hmm. uh, on something like that, can you imagine if he gave it his full attention and, and started doing this kind of thing? So with something like the Hydra, I, I, there is the surface and I scratched it for me. Mm -hmm. what I, where I would, can see myself taking it, is so far beyond, but you got to pick your battles. You know, like for instance, candle power. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it's probably not as much on the radar, but there are certain techniques in there, like the um, the joint shifting thing that I was doing. I'm scratching the surface of what I see in my head. What I see can be done with that is really, uh, it's, it's unique, totally. The sound, the way it looks, I can see it, but it's years, years of work. So I scratch the surface and move on. Little Pretty, that song for me has such rich, interesting chords and melody. You know, it's not jazz, it's not funk, it's not even fusion. It's, it's totally what moves me. And that whole harmonic, melodic approach is something I know I can take into pretty uh, dense dimensions, but you got to pick your battles. Exactly. You know? So maybe let's skip to, to Vaigash album, because, mm -hmm. uh, uh, well, basically you often return to these songs, as, as you admit. Uh, what is the reception of this album, you know, while riding a motorcycle? Uh, well, the reception, how people is, felt about the Maybe your, your personal reception. Have you ever had the chance to listen to this movie <coughs> while writing it? You know, oh, yeah. yeah. That's why I made it back in the 90s, yeah. in 91. 
Yeah, you know the story of how it came about. Exactly. Yeah, it was just one of those things where you get a you get an impulse to do something, and you just go must do. It's kind of like I guess certain animals when they enter the mating season. It's like they don't care who's you know they don't care what's up. Come on, we you know we're That's mating now. Thing. It's like a hunger, you know. Uh -huh. It happens with humans too. But um, creatively, when you get a vision for something and you just have to move on it, and the gas record was like that. I stopped everything I was doing and I just ran into the studio and bashed this stuff out. And I really liked it. It was just this one little side of me, you know. It. it, it, it it's it, it's a little uh, difficult to explain the dimensionality of what I do, you know, because from a, from face value when you listen to something like flexible, mm -hmm. and then passion and morph, it's like the same guy, you know, and then crossroads, and then sex and religion, and Dave Roth, and you know, all the things through my orchestra music, you know, all mm -hmm. the orchestra music I just recorded, and so the gas record was just like a little snapshot of a time and a feeling, and I'm just so glad I captured it, because it brings me back there, mm -hmm. you know, and I was just so pleasantly surprised with the response, you know, the fans that kind of like it, really like it, and even the, the press, so uh, good to that little record, and even radio, it was even on the radio in America, you know, so that was kind of nice. Maybe not everyone knows, but uh, why Gash is not not the only session you did with Johnson Brothers. He did background vocals on two of your early solo albums, yeah. like Fire Garden and Sex and Religion. Yes, he right? did. He did. Yeah. He sang some background vocals, but I don't uh, I don't have any other vocal mm -hmm. song performances from him, except for the stuff that ended up on the record. And that record, when you listen to it, it really for for us it captured that feeling and that time of freedom empowerment, you know, being out with friends on the road, being on a bike, it was really nice. Do you sometimes have this feeling that the, the story of Johnson Broto is something like an unfinished book with the potential of a Pulitzer Prize? Well, I never thought of it that way, but uh, I'm sure something could be whipped up in that department. It's a, it's a great story, mm -hmm. you know, uh, how it all happened with John. And, but. The most amazing thing about that whole uh, the Vi Gash thing, it was John himself, mm -hmm. his personality, the way he was. It's impossible for me to describe him except to say that he would have made he would have been one of your favorite rock stars. Mm -hmm. Because I mean I've worked with you know some of the, some of the biggest rock star singers. Mm -hmm. I, I know their DNA. I know how I know what it takes for them to get in front of an audience and command the stage. And he was that guy. He was that guy. He Not only that, that, but he had the voice too. Yeah. So maybe coming to your to your current shows now. Um, for a couple of years, you've been interacting a lot with the audience by you know going up the stage, playing solos between the rows, sharing the guitar with uh, with people. Uh, I need to ask you about, uh, you know, a gear related question. So, what is your wireless system and what range does it have? Are you able to play anywhere in the venue without losing the sound? That's a good question. <laughs> you, you the answer know. is no. <laughs> okay. I've, uh, uh, I've went through every wireless. Mm -hmm. And before this tour, Shore sent me <clears throat> their latest wireless and I brought it out. But they sent me, a, they didn't give me the right antenna, so I can't go more than five feet and it starts, or ten feet or whatever, and it starts cutting in and out. So, so you need to be careful. No, I need to use a cable. <laughs> right. So there's only some venues I can do that. Because mm -hmm. I, 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 the other ones that allow you to go far out, I don't like what they do to the sound. Mm -hmm. And I don't have any with me right now. I used to use them for one song to go out. Mm -hmm. but. Going out into the audience is just a little novelty thing for the fans to get a kick mm -hmm. out of. I mean, you know, some players do it. I toured with Zach Wilde. He, he goes out like three times during his set, and you see him hanging from the balcony, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Is it possible to do it uh, here today in Krakow? Well, we haven't done sound check yet, so uh, right. I have to see if the cable will will go because so I can't use the wireless. You know, this situation this doesn't work. The situation reminds me of uh, one event that happened some years ago when you shared the guitar with Andy Timmons. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was great. That was great. That was great. It's a, there's a little clip on YouTube. Yeah, it is. I went into the audience, I saw him there, I gave him the guitar, and he just killed it. <laughs> Alright, Steve, so maybe to finalize this interview, may I ask you to join a short lesson of Polish and try to read the name of my channel? Wissy Z Vrokem? Wissy Z Vrokem. Wissy Z Vrokem. Yeah, perfect. It's quite, you know, it's quite. Hey, Bob! Hey folks, this is Steve Vai, and you're watching, oh, oops, wait one more time, this, say it again? Wissi Zvirokin. Wissi? Zvirokin. 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 It's hard. Zvirokin. 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 Maybe. Zvirokin. Wissi Zvirokin. Wissi? Wissi Zvirokin. That's the best I can do. Okay. Hey folks, this is Steve Vai and you're watching Wissam Zivrakin. <laughs> Actually, this is what you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much, Steve. It's, you know, you, you did better than me trying to learn the intro to Firewall. <laughs> 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 All right, thanks Thank very much. Thank you very much. Good luck.